So I did get this robot um, working this morning in, in that I got the program installed and I've tested out all the motor controls. Let me see if I can make the little mouth move here now. The right button. So down is he comes out and top is he goes back. Out and back and out and back <laughs> so pretty cool um it's ready for the kids to continue on with see how it works i don't know i just kind of like it <laughs> johnny was out of school for the second day he goes back tomorrow they just had a four-day weekend around president's day this year which they actually got to have because we haven't had any winter weather uh, no snow or nothing and when we missed for the wind the other um, last week, um, they didn't make have to make that up. I was really surprised at, about that. So, at any point, good afternoon, Ruby. Yeah. Um, at any point, uh, we're out of school today. Michelle wasn't able to go shopping. I finished up yesterday's video. I worked on the robot for the school and now I am headed to um, Whole Foods to get the farm order. I think I am going to stop at Guardian Angel Apex and just walk around for just a minute. Don's going to go for his run. And Johnny is enjoying his computer time. So it's a 15 mile, 27 minute drive up to Guardian Angel Apex. But that's really close to Whole Foods. Um, it's probably only maybe five extra miles to swing um, by Guardian Angel on the way over there. So uh, not a big deal. Not as much as my normal daily driving. Ruby says it's 60 out here. It's pretty nice. We are expecting some rain to move in overnight. Not sure how much we're going to get. And they're still talking about a snowflake later in the week. Which... I think I established before at this point in the winter I am uh, okay with missing. We'll see. Hope I find a treasure today. I'm in the mood for a good find. I have this um, Iris Corel pattern and um, these two pieces are pretty inexpensive. This is $1.29 so I'm gonna get those. Picked up a couple of Vera Bradley pieces that were a good price too. Both I would like have considered new. this, but they taped up the box and um, they're asking 10 for it. So no. they have more matching pieces too, but no room and no need. I had a good time in there. I got a little Precious Moments um, figurine with a cat and a bird. It kind of reminded me of Sylvester and Tweety. Um, I had a good time, but you know, it's just not the same when Michelle is not in there with me. So hopefully next week. The Walmart here in Cary by Whole Foods has some new Hot Wheels, but none of them are Tesla Model 3s, the Midnight Silver Metallic. Still looking. I do wish we had a Whole Foods in Fuquay. It probably wouldn't help me with picking up the farm water, but um, it would help me in when I need to run out to get a few things. Now Harris Teeter is okay, but since they reward their patrons with fuel points and that doesn't do me much good. Um, not really looking to support that, I guess. I don't like the parking lot over there and I don't like their self checkout. So that's like three strikes. I don't go in there unless I have to. Michelle, it's a sign, it's a mermaid cupcake, but you're not here with me today. Right as I was coming back to Ruby, this guy was backing in over there, and I swear he was within a foot of the front of Ruby, but I wasn't super pleased. You know, because after yesterday and realizing with Dawn that you have to turn the unintuitive direction to get the trailer to go where you want it to go when you're backing up, I know just how hard it can be to put the trailer where you want it to be. Hey, Donnie. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to start raining in a minute. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I'm still sort of hiding what's going on, but the box that came yesterday, it's the wrong one. So 
I don't know that we're going to get it in time for the weekend, but my fingers are crossed and we've now ordered the right one. Thank you, Walmart, for um, not sending what you were supposed to. Steak and eggs. And, well, maybe a little veg. Yeah, veg, too. Lots of butter, though. <laughs> God bless you. While Johnny's at Taekwondo, I feel compelled to stretch my legs and <clears throat> possibly check for Hot Wheels again at the Fuquay Walmart. Wow, that is a lot of different varieties of Mustangs to choose from. Too bad that's not what I'm looking for. No luck. And I did check the one box there that's new. It's got like Forenza ones in it or something. So, um, about a year ago, I guess I'm holding a grudge here. I ordered something important from Walmart around Christmas time, and it was delivered damage. And that was like the first time I'd ever ordered anything to the house from Walmart, because I order like everything from Amazon. So I wasn't too pleased, and the order process was difficult, and I was like, you know what? i just not doing that again, because almost everything from Amazon comes like clockwork without any problems ever. So there was this item I wanted, a really important item, and for whatever reason, Amazon had it, but they refused to deliver it to our address. It's a heavy item, that package, that thing that I showed in the videos, right? So we ordered it from Walmart. They were within two or three dollars, and life was good, except for I ordered the wrong one, because I was looking at several, it's a piece of furniture, I was looking at several different ones. So within five minutes, I canceled my order because I'm used to Amazon. If you go in and you cancel something right away, it's not shipped. It's no big deal, right? And then I ordered the one that I really wanted. So life is good. And they said that they shipped out the one that I wanted. And then I got so excited because it seemed to have come sooner than it was even supposed to. Except for they shipped me the one that I canceled and didn't and aren't shipping me the one that I really wanted. So, you know, someone on the other end, apparently this is one of their marketplace sellers, which, you know, Amazon has people, third parties selling stuff too, but this was not actually Walmart, apparently. They got confused and they had the canceled order up in front of them and the good order up in front of them and they sent the wrong one. They didn't read. They, they're two totally different numbers, but they sent the wrong one. So what I would like to do is I would just like to take this 82 pound box to the local Walmart, get my refund and be done with it. Don's ready to truck it into the stores. It's got it on a hand truck. It's no problem, right? Well, Walmart won't let you take that item back to the store. They are willing for free to send FedEx over to pick up the item at our house. So I've scheduled that for Thursday, but you can't just, deliver it back to Walmart like I could take Amazon stuff to Whole Foods or Kohl's now or you know Amazon sends a pre-printed label. So I was on the phone with someone from Walmart for over 15 minutes and it was not the best conversation ever trying to decide trying to figure out what went on and my concern is that when they get the unexpected wrong item back they'll be confused and think I sent the wrong thing and not didn't really return what I intended to return. You sort of see what I'm saying here? So I have no hope that this will actually work right, except for the FedEx guys coming Thursday, and I've got a pre-printed free return mailing label, and I guess we're going to, I've got pictures, and I'm going to turn the item over to the person, then I'm going to, I'm going to say a prayer on it that it works out. That it doesn't get screwed up. Meantime, I've ordered the one that I really want again. And it's left the warehouse. And it's on its way. And she assures me that it won't be messed up in transit. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that when it shows up, you know, this time I will be looking instantaneously for the picture I'm expecting and the item number that I'm expecting. So keep your fingers crossed for me because I have exciting things planned. But I can't carry it out until I get the right item <laughs> delivered to the house. <sighs> and no, I am going back to ordering from Amazon.